Once you've chosen your plan on the Loop Cloud account page, you'll then need to log in to your account. If you have a Loop Masters account already, you can log in to Loop Cloud with that. But if you don't have one, you'll need to register at this point, simply with your email and a password. Once registered, you'll receive an email with a confirmation link to activate your account, which you should locate and carry out. Then you can download and install the relevant software on your computer, either Windows or Mac. It's a good idea to also download the free Loop Cloud plugins at this point, which you can find by clicking the Plugin Suite button and then downloading the relevant version of Drum and Play. After running any installers that you've downloaded to set up the software on your computer, you can then locate Loop Cloud in your Applications folder. The first time you boot it up, it takes a minute as it synchronizes your account, but then you'll land on the home page access from any other view by the Home button. And this is also the button for resetting a sample search and starting again, so a good one to remember. At the other end of this section, you have your Library button, which you can select to switch to displaying your own files. The amount displayed here will vary depending on your account, where you may simply see the Welcome Pack, containing an assortment of kits for drum, presets for play, and a load of additional audio samples in a number of genres too. And you'll also see any Loop Masters packs that you own here. I can check out samples by selecting them and hitting the play button below, or using the space bar to start and stop. All these samples are currently in the cloud though, not being read locally from my computer, which is indicated by the folders being black, and also the cloud symbol in the state field of each file. Dragging a sample from your pack out of Loop Cloud downloads them from the cloud to your computer. And you can then see the symbol changes to show it exists in both locations now. Although I dragged it to my desktop so it's copied there, it also downloaded to the Loop Cloud library on my computer, which I can find at any time by right-clicking a file I've downloaded and choosing to show in my operating system. Your library is also where any of your own personal samples can be stored which you can add either using the Add Samples button and browsing to any folders, or just dragging and dropping into the library area. Folders on your computer are blue, and the state field symbol shows a computer, telling you it's a local file, so on your own hard drive. Plus, if you have a subscription plan, then you also get cloud storage, so you can upload your own samples to that folder, again, just by drag and drop, to access them when on the move. There's a separate tutorial where I show this in more detail. The top panel of Loop Cloud is where you conduct sample searches, either by selecting tags from each category, or just typing something into the search field, and then using the Filter Results buttons to further refine the search. As well as choose the locations that you're browsing in, randomize the results, and so on. If working with your DAW, you'll also want to have the Loop Cloud plugin on a MIDI track. Two things happen then. Firstly, the audio routes from Loop Cloud into the MIDI track in the DAW. And secondly, sample previewing becomes locked to the tempo of your project. Which makes finding the right sample significantly easier. The sample previewer and editor at the bottom also have an abundance of amazing time saving features, where I could reset the search with the home button, choose a one shot of some kind, set it to auto to make everything transpose to the key of my song. Select a pattern preset, like one of the arpeggios, with or without effects, and then try out some different samples with the pattern. All previewing from the cloud. Then only buy the one shot sample when I found the right one. But drag it out of Loop Cloud 
to have it downloaded, sequenced, and even processed with effects straight into the DAW. Again, there are tutorials where I show searching and working in the DAW in more detail, so refer to those for more information. I just thought I'd give you a glimpse of the huge potential at this point. Finally then, to start working with drum or play, you simply need to select them as the instrument on a MIDI or software instrument track, and then start choosing presets. If you want to see what other presets are available in the store, you can click the Loop Cloud button. Or within Loop Cloud, you can scroll down the home page to find packs. Or use the Loop Cloud drum tag in the search field in the formats category. And then browse kits in the same way as samples. Narrowing down the search with additional tags if I like. Then you can click the info button to see the pack a kit is in, with each pack containing three kits, and listen to the others in the pack, as well as purchase it to add it to your library. You can then see the pack in your library and can drag and drop kits from there into Drum to start using them. And any purchase presets can also be accessed from the factory list in the GUI menu once the refresh button has been hit or the software has been relaunched. I hope this movie gets you going with Loop Cloud as smoothly as possible and serves as a good intro to the main features and navigation. As I said, check out the other tutorials for more detailed information and really get to know the huge amount of options available.